Hi, my name is Jared. This is Kimberly. Welcome to the Protective Enclosures Company installation video for the TV Shield. We're going to go ahead and go over everything that comes included with the weatherproof TV enclosure. We're also going to go over all the tools needed for an easy installation. All right, first off, we want to thank you for your purchase of the TV Shield or the Display Shield product. We're going to go ahead and go over what was included uh, with the enclosure. First, you're going to want to go ahead and take your instruction manual off. Go ahead and put it off to the side. You're going to want to go ahead and pull the six uh, black threaded caps off the front. Go ahead and put those off to the side. Open up the enclosure. You're going to find a box in there which has all of your uh, parts that come included. You want to go ahead and open that box up. What you have is you have a black bag, okay, um, drawstring bag. That's going to have inside of it extra set of keys. So you have four keys actually that we provide to you with the enclosure. You're also going to have your handle that goes on on one of the steps, okay. You're going to have some additional black threaded caps just in case you lose one of them. And also you have four small plugs. So plugs are for if for some reason you miss drill the back of the enclosure. We went ahead and provided those for you so you can plug those holes up and drill the correct ones. Okay. Go ahead and put that stuff off to the side. You also have, if you purchased a unit with the thermostatically controlled fan system, you're going to have a filter and you're also going to have the cover. So that's what holds the filter on. And yeah, we'll go over that in one of the steps. You also have four uh, styrofoam blocks. Those are used for insulation, so you don't want to throw them away. Uh, they're not just for packaging. Also, with the TV shield, you have your two prop arms. You're going to go ahead and put those off to the side. Uh, with the display shield unit, you do not have the prop arms. Uh, also, you're going to have all of your hardware. So you have two bags, threaded studs, washers, things like that that you're going to need for the installation. And I'll go over each one of those parts in the instructions. Tools that you're going to need. Uh, you are going to need a utility knife. Uh, you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver, measuring tape, you're also going to need your wrenches, drill bits, and of course your drill. You always need a drill. So those are the tools needed and also the uh, components that come inside of the enclosure. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go over step one and two of the installation instructions. Uh, first, I want to note that I did go ahead and put a sheet down. Um, also, make sure you leave the protective covering on the front uh, panel of the enclosure just for some added protection while you're doing the installation. So, step one, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take off the six black threaded caps. Uh, now, we've already removed them. You may have done this in a previous step. So, step two, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up the enclosure. You're going to pop out the grommets. There's one grommet on either side of the bottom of the enclosure. That's going to be where your cables are going to pass through. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and make a vertical and horizontal cut in the grommet. Now I went ahead and grabbed one of the styrofoam blocks that we provide you uh, with the uh, enclosure. Um, just so I'm cutting on that, I'm not cutting on the floor or anything like that. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make one vertical cut all the way through the grommet. Okay, so all the way through to the other end, you're going to start here at the inner circle. Okay, your second cut is going to be across, but from the inner circle to the inner circle. So you're not going to want to cut all the way through. So that's going to go ahead and give you basically four, I guess, pieces of the grommet, okay, but again, one cut is the only one that you're going to do all the way through. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go over step three of the instructions. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get the four foam blocks that we provided you. You want to set them down. What we're going to be doing is placing the TV face down over those four blocks. So you're going to want to space them out where you think that uh, your TV is going to fit on it. Make sure that you are putting the blocks on the outside frame of your television. Uh, you don't want the blocks sitting on the screen of your television. Uh, could crack it, something like that. So make sure you're spacing them out and they're actually sitting on the frame uh, of the TV. What, then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to figure out 
what bolt size fits in your mounting holes of your TV. Now you can do this by either looking at the owner's manual and finding what thread uh, goes in the back of your TV, or if you don't have an owner's manual, you can go ahead and use the provided uh, threaded studs that we gave to you and just test them and figure out which one fits in there correctly. So we do provide you with uh, M4, M5, M6, and M8 threaded studs. Okay, that's four millimeter, five millimeter, six, and eight millimeter studs. Um, every TV is different. They could have a, a four, a five, a six, and eight. So we provide you with all those studs. Um, so what you're going to want to do is just simply take out one of the studs, screw it into the mounting holes, see which one threads in there correctly, and that's going to be the stud size that you're going to use. Now, just remove it. Now, if you're using a 19 to 29 inch enclosure, the studs aren't provided because what you're going to do is you're actually going to use your hardware provided with your separately sold mount. So you can do the same thing. If you don't know the thread size, you can go ahead and use the screws from your separately sold mount, screw them in, see which one fits, pull it out, and that's the size that you're going to use. So you can essentially put everything else to the side. Okay, we're going to go over step four of the installation. What we're going to do here is basically find the center horizontal line of your TV and the vertical uh, center line of the television. Okay, what you're going to want for this is your measuring tape. Uh, good to have a pencil so you can make your markings. Also, uh, some scotch tape might be helpful uh, because what we're going to be doing is placing a template on the back of the TV so we can punch out our mounting holes uh, on the back of the television. So, show you how to do that in just a second, but first what we're going to do is we're going to want to find the center horizontal line of the TV. So you're going to measure the entire TV. This one measures at 40 inches. So what I'm going to want to do is find 20 inches from one side to the other and go ahead and mark at 20 inches. Okay? Then what we're going to want to do is get the vertical measurement on the TV or height and that is 26 inches on this one so what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to make a mark at 13 inches um, on the side of the television now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and take your template and just to note on the template you'll see a horizontal and you'll also see a vertical we're going to be doing this in the horizontal orientation because that's how your television is. It's not going to be sitting vertical. Vertical is really just for our display shields in digital signage where they're putting them vertical. So you want to put the horizontal, you're going to want to line it up. Uh, make sure you're lined up on both sides, height wise. Um, and you're going to want to go ahead and put that down. And this is where it's good to tape it, so you might want to use some scotch tape just to pull everything nice and tight, okay? Um, put a piece of tape on each side here, just to make sure this thing's nice and flat. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and find those mounting holes. You can do that by just kind of sliding your finger over usually and finding the holes, and we're going to punch them out. So you can use that same pencil and punch out those holes where your screws are going to go when mounting, okay? Okay, this is step five of the installation instructions. Uh, what I did is I took the TV, put it off to the side, the mounting blocks from the previous step, took the template off, and what we're doing is we're essentially transferring the template to the back of the enclosure uh, so we can drill out our holes. So what you're going to need in this step, you are going to need a uh, drill. You're also going to need uh, some drill bits. Now, I know that I'm using a six millimeter um, threaded stud or screw that goes in the back of my TV. So what you have here is you do have a drilling schedule on your instructions. Um, so an M4 bolt would use a 5 32nds or four millimeter bit. A M5 bolt would use a 3 16 or five millimeter bit. M6, which is the one that I'm using, is a quarter or six millimeter uh, bit, and an M8, which is your largest bolt that would go in the back of the TV, is a five sixteenths or an eight millimeter bit. Okay, so I know that I'm using the six millimeter studs or screw, and I'm going to go ahead and use 
the 3 sixteenths, or I'm sorry, the quarter or six millimeter uh, bit. And what you're gonna do is transfer that template, which I've already done, and put it on the back of the enclosure. Now what you'll see is there's faint etched lines in the back of the enclosure all the way around for you to line your template up with. So you have lines on the template here. You're gonna line it up with those etch lines in the back of the TV shield. And, uh, and what that essentially is doing is centering your TV in the enclosure. So it's gonna be centered height, it's gonna be centered width, okay? So all you're gonna do is simply go ahead and where you punched out those four holes in the template in the previous step, you're gonna go ahead and drill out the back of the TV shield. Now, just make sure you don't go too deep or you don't have a real long bit on there so you don't hit the actual polycarbonate shield in there. Um, so you're going to go ahead and do that for all four of the holes uh, right where you punched it out. Uh, now, what I want to say is if you're using a 19 to 29 inch unit, um, you're going to go ahead and refer to the spacer kit instructions before moving on to step six. Okay, now that's step five. Okay, this is step six of the installation instructions. What you're going to need is, you're going to need your threaded studs. Now again, I know that I'm using a six millimeter threaded stud or bolt. So I'm going to grab my M6 threaded studs. I'm also going to need my M6 internal tooth lock washers. Uh, they are marked on the front of the bags. And the M6 hex jam nuts. So what you're going to do is, you're simply going to go ahead and install your stud into the back of the TV and the mounting holes. You're then going to drop your lock washer over it and thread your hex jam nut all the way down. And go ahead and tighten it up. You're going to go ahead and do that for all four of the holes. Now if you are using a 19 to 29 inch enclosure you're not going to install any nuts or threads, uh, threaded studs in this uh, step, and you're going to move on to step seven. What you're going to want to do in this step is you're going to want to install any power cords, HDMI cables, coax cables, um, anything that you're going to be using for your installation. Um, and just a, a note here, anything that you might use in the future. So if you don't have an HDMI cord that you're using today, it's just coaxial, you may want to install one now so you don't have to uninstall the unit at a later time. But so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and install you know, all of the stuff that we need to here. Um, power, coax, um, HDMI, because I'm using HDMI, and RCA cables, because I know actually that I'm going to be using a uh, outdoor speaker kit that we sell uh, separately on our site. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and plug those in. Get all my cords plugged in prior to going on uh, in this step. Now one other thing, so part two of this step is if you're using a television that's not flat in the back. so. This TV is flat in the back, but there are some TVs that have raised speaker bars in the back and things like that. We actually have leveling hardware. So what that leveling hardware is, is it's just going to be a hex jam nut and a washer. Okay, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to basically thread that hex jam nut uh, all the way around, so on all four of the studs, to the height of that raised area. So let's say we had a speaker bar that was sitting up here and it was you know, two inches off the bottom. Well, I'm going to want to go ahead and put my nuts on to about two inches off the bottom, okay? And then my washer. And what that's going to do is it's going to make sure that your TV doesn't sit back or forward or whatever the case is in the enclosure because if you have something protruding out of the bottom and you're screwing it down on the top, it's going to pull the top end closer and your TV's not going to be sitting perfectly level in the, in the enclosure. So that's how you use the leveling hardware. Again, we're not using it in this step. So we're going to move on to part three of step seven in just one second. Okay, we're on part three of step seven. What you see is we have the TV shield. We have it open. So we have the, uh, the front panel uh, here open. And what we're going to do is just place 
the TV shield on top of the television and uh, line the studs up with the holes and run them through. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Just like that. <clears throat> now, if you're using a 19 to 29 inch enclosure, you are not going to have the studs like we've gone over in previous uh, steps. And what you're going to do is you're simply going to go ahead and align the TV shield, the holes that you made in the TV shield, with your mounting holes in the actual TV. So flashlight is good for this step. What you're going to want to do is just kind of take flashlight and you're going to move this around and until you align the, uh, the holes with the mounting holes. And then what you're going to do is you're not going to install any, any bolts at this point. You're actually going to wait till the next step and you're going to be using the mounting brackets. You're actually going to run the screws through the mounting bracket, through the enclosure, and then into the back of the TV. So that is just for the 19 to 29 inch. That's it, not for the 30, 40, 40, 50, or 50, 60 size enclosures. So uh, also now what you're going to do is run all of your cords through your grommets, okay, or through your holes where your grommets were. So you'll just want to go ahead and install your cords. Go ahead and pull those through. And then you're simply going to reinstall the two grommets around the cords in the bottom of the enclosure. Okay, this is step eight of the installation instructions. Uh, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be placing our brackets that usually would go on the back of the TV over our studs and actually tighten everything down. So you're going to need your mounting brackets from your separately sold mount. You're also going to need your flat washers. So again, I'm using an M6 uh, bolt, so M6 washers. You're also going to need the metal bonded washers that come uh, in your hardware. So what that is, is on one side of it, it looks like a washer. On the other side, it's rubber, okay? So that's your metal bonded washers. Uh, you're also gonna need uh, your M6 uh, tooth lock washers and your M6 uh, nuts, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do first um, is go ahead and put your metal bonded washers over the studs. Now, this is going to seal up any additional space that you have um, around the holes that you made. So where the studs are coming up, this is gonna seal that off so there's no water intrusion. Um, then what we're gonna do is, go ahead after you put the metal bonded down, you're gonna go ahead and take your mounting bracket, you're gonna place that over the bonded washer and the stud. Go ahead and drop a washer down on it. The lock washer and then your nut. So you're gonna go ahead and put that all on. Um, you're gonna do that same thing to all four of the studs that are coming up through. And then what you wanna do is just take uh, your wrench. You're gonna tighten all those down nice and tight. You don't wanna over tighten them, just get them nice and tight. Um, and that's it. Uh, now, if you are using the 19 to 29 inch unit, at this point, you wouldn't have the studs coming up through the enclosure. So what you're gonna do is, you're actually going to install the metal bonded washer, and then go ahead and put your bracket down, and you're simply gonna drop the screws from your separately sold mount down over the bracket, through the enclosure, and into the back of your TV, and then tighten those down. Okay, this is step nine. Uh, you see TVs mounted inside of the enclosure. Um, you're gonna go ahead and grab your prop arms that came with it. Uh, just real quick, the prop arms, how they install if you are opening it is just like this. You put the bent end of the prop arm in the last hole in the polycarbonate, and then there's a divot here that the other side lays in. You wanna uninstall them, and then put them away for storage. There's clips right here on the side of the unit. So you're simply gonna clip it in, both sides, Shut the unit, and that's step nine. Okay, we're going to go over step 10 and 11 with you. Uh, step 10 is simply pulling off the protective coverings uh, from the front and back of the polycarbonate. So what you're going to want to do is get it, 
Go ahead and peel it off. Pull it off to the side. Open it up. Go ahead and peel off the interior. That's step 10. What step 11 is, you're going to be installing the round handle or pull knob that goes on the front of the enclosure. So what you want to do is, there's a countersunk screw. That's going to go in from the inside. You're going to push it up through. Simply put the knob on the outside. Tighten it down. Go ahead and shut the enclosure. Okay, step 12, what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and shut the enclosure, replace the threaded caps. And if you did purchase a unit with the thermostatically controlled fans, what you're going to do is go ahead and pop on the filter and grate. Simply going to place the filter inside the grate, you're going to pop it on the bottom of the unit. And that's step 12. All right, this is step 13. It's the last step. Um, we're going to go ahead and pick this up, mount it on the wall, plug everything in, and you'll be able to enjoy your new TV shield. As you can see, I do have the mount already mounted on the wall uh, based off the separately sold mount instructions. So what we're going to do is get it up there, plug it in, and uh, be done. Okay, so we got it mounted up. We go ahead and just power. Go ahead and connect our coax. At this point, you probably want to run your wires, put them up in your wire uh, connector. That's step 13. This concludes the instructional video. We hope that this has been helpful. We want to thank you again for the purchase of the TV Shield, and we hope that you enjoy.